Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my highlighter collection. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to show you all the highlighters I own. It's really not that much. I've only recently started to get into highlighters. Um, I've got like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 highlighters, both liquid and powder. So let's get into it. First, let's start with liquid. So, these are all the liquid ones I have. Let's start drugstore to high end. So, the first one I have is L'Oreal True Match Illumi Liquid Glow Highlighter, Illuminator, sorry, and C301 Ice. So, this is a more of a pink highlight. I liked these better than the, the um, powder version. So that's it right there. Super glowy and pretty. And it's not shimmery, too shimmery, which is nice. So it's just a nice highlight. Then we have the Jelly Pong Pong Glow Getter Luminizer Gel. Um, I don't think this has a specific shade um, name but it's like a little nail polish it's kind of funny so this is more of a warm tone you can see that you have to start swatching like up here oh yeah now you see it so it's definitely like a pinky beige then we have two Becca highlighters. So the first one I have is Moonstone. This is more gold than the ones that we've been looking at. So it's this far one. And then my brand new addition I got for my, my birthday from my boyfriend. This is Pearl. This is the um, newest addition not only to my collection but to Becca's highlighter range. And this is perfect for pale girls because it is like icy white right there. And you get to see my super pale arm. So I hope those are showing up good for you guys. There's all four of them. Okay, I guess let's do the same thing. Let's start cheapest to most expensive. The first one I haven't really used because it's not too great. It's the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection in Rose Champagne Glow. So it's this big bad boy right here. And that's what it looks like. So it's a pink tone. And that's what it is. Excuse my swatches from previous videos. So that's what it is. It's a nice glow, but the texture isn't my fave. It's kind of rough um, and powdery. Damn, I can't get these swatches off. Hold on. Then we have a Maybelline um, Master Highlight by Face Studio, and this is in 10 Nude. Did this for an all drugstore routine. So it's like a pinky beige highlight. Definitely super beige, as you can see there. Almost like bronzer y. But it's got a nice sheen to it. Um, a decent texture for the drugstore, just not my favorite. I tend to favorite expensive highlighters because they are some of the best, which is really unfortunate. So for the highlighter that I'm wearing right now, BAM. BAM. It is the Vintage by Jessica Liev Skin Skin in Crystal Pink. So it is this bad boy right here. It's my favorite because it is great for pale, 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 pale girls. It is a nice pink with cool undertone. So it's kind of got like a blue and silver undertone to it. So it just looks so flattering, I think. It's just a perfect pink highlight. This is what it looks like. Oh, God, can't get over it. Right there. See, it's like an icy pink, not too warm. 
just beautiful. And then I have two by the Balm. The first one is a sample and it is the Cindy Luminizer. Just a little doodad right there. I really like this. I like to layer this under the vintage one. It just gives it a really nice um, little something extra to it. And then I have two by the Balm. The first one is a sample and it is the Cindy Luminizer. Just a little doodad right there. I really like this. I like to layer this under the vintage one. It just gives it a really nice um, little something extra to it. Now, the Balm highlighters have a great texture and a great um, like highlight shine payoff. They are really great. They're good bang for your buck. You get a lot of product and a little bit goes a long way. So then we have the classic Mary Luminizer. This stuff is glittery and shiny AF. It is a pale gold. So pretty. As you can see, I've made a little dent in it, but this is a ton of product for a highlight, like a ton. And this is what it looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And there we go. So bam, that is like liquid gold right there, basically. So I say if you were on a budget and you had to get any of these, I would say vintage, which probably, I mean, I did get this for free. I'm not totally sure of the price, but I don't think it could be the price of a Laura Mercier or a Becca highlighter. So I go with this or the, Sin no, the Mary Luminizer. On to my pretty little expensive babies. Uh, I love them so much. So the first one is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in, you guessed it, Soft and Gentle. This is the old ass packaging. I am a fan of this for the color. The texture is a little rough and I think it does have a little too much legit glitter. But this is a really unique color. It's a rose gold almost and it does look good on so many different skin tones. I mean, look at that. It's just so pretty. But I tend to use this one less because I feel like it just is a little too glittery, but it is a cult classic, so I suggest going and trying it out. I'm going to go on to this, even though it's kind of out of order, but this is my um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Ambient Lighting Palette. And these are the colors Dim Light, Incandescent Light, and Radiant Light. And I want to put these in now because this is expensive, but you could also get the powders individually. I don't know. I just wanted to show you this now. Maybe because they aren't too impactful as powders, you could actually kind of set your face with these. But I just wanted to show this because it does have a little bit of a glow to it. And these are just beautiful powders right here compared to this one up top they don't really hold a candle but i did want to show them to you on to becca i only have two to show you the first one is champagne pop now everybody and their mother owns this and knows about it so i'm not gonna describe it too much but yes jacqueline hill created this color it is a almost like orangey gold i want to say so it's great if you have a tan i can't wear it right now because i'm super pale but in the summer i will be able to see it kind of like reminds me of orange creamsicles a little bit but these highlights are some of the best out there just the pigmentation the glow factor the um formula is just incredible so there's champagne pop and then we have moonstone so i showed you it in the liquid form and i have it in the powder form as well this is a little less intense than um champagne pop when it comes to warmth as you can see under here so it is more of a wearable color for somebody that is more pale it is a very pale um, champagne color. Let me compare it to um, Mary Luminizer. Okay, yeah, you can see Mary Luminizer is a little bit more warm than Moonstone. So Moonstone is definitely the option if you are pale. 
And then we have two highlighters left, and they are both from Laura Mercier. Let's go with the first special edition one, which I'm pretty sure you can still get. I always have a link in every video of mine um, to their ovarian cancer website with their, with their special edition products on it. So this is Highlight 02, and it is a peachier version of their um, Matte Radiance Baked Powder Highlight in 01. So it's a little peachier. This was my first highlight love. Isn't that beautiful? Love it so much. And now let's go on to 01, which is more of a pale gold. These are baked and they feel like they're baked, but they're so velvety and soft that you wouldn't even think they were a baked product. Because usually baked products pick up a lot of they kick up a lot of dust and they tend to be rougher, but these are just silky magic. So this is number two and number one. So pretty. Okay, there you have it. There are all my highlighters swatched for you guys. I hope you like this. I am becoming obsessed with highlighters, so I love watching these videos, so I wanted to make one for you guys. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!